Yeah, it was close. I don't know if it... Yeah, I think we're all right for the shadows. Um, so what I've been trying to do, these guys actually should be right over here, but... Uh, so this is the Warsh Army HQ with 20 supply points and also has... Um, there's also independently uh, 20 supply points sitting here as a supply point marker. And from what I've been reading, um, I can break these up right away. So what I wanted to do uh, initially was try to send um, uh, some over to this core HQ and some over to here. Remember, they move like a um, infantry infantry unit f for rail uh, and normal movement purposes. So that's a movement rate of four and one tenth uh, for rail purposes. And they're allowed to do the combination of, as far as I can see, because they're l like an infantry unit, they can do a combination of rail and go on land movement as long as um, they start and end um, from a headquarters if they're going to do the land stuff. Uh, they can go out, they can stay and train and like, you know, halfway across on a rail line or whatever and stay and trained in a turn, but they can't like go to here kind of thing and, you know, stay for that one turn, which sucks. Oh God, I was so close. So anyways, I like, wanted to see if I could like start off a bit of uh, combat right off the bat to just, you know, just keep these guys a bit honest. And yet again, I'm trying to also free... I'm telling you, man, studying... The, when I isolated this bit and used the magic marker with the... Th uh, just staring at the double rail lines, oh my God, this thing has been paying off dividends massively. I, I'm just starting and I'm like, holy cow. Anyways, so... I'm like, you know what? You have to avoid using all these rail lines here um, to free up for other people, like these reinforcements coming into here. And you can do it. You just got to be a little bit creative. Or at least I have to be. A bit, I got to stop using that U bit all the time. I um, I had to be a bit creative. I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm a bit pissed. I wish I had started. I had really started getting the get-go there a bit more with the engineering uh, units because, uh, oh, did you see that? I'll, um, I'll show up later. When I uh, finish off the one last bit of the Alberto markers, um, I, well, I'm not com completely satisfied with the artillery, but uh, I've, got, I've got a new German one for where the Germans are if they're inside uh, with any of the Austrian units. Um, and these are all matte. You can get them all through uh, wingdings and webdings and all the whatever dings um, that Microsoft has. And I'm sure, you know, Apple, uh, Macs and have uh, similar things. But yeah, and, and now I'm just sticking with white. For, oh my God, they look awesome. I'm really super duper happy. Uh, like for example, screw the E, man. Uh, I'm now using that um, a wrench and a hammer for my engineering units. Uh, just the big C for Core HQ. Um, ah, I don't care what anybody else says. I'm using, this is my cavalry. It's a, because I couldn't find a proper horse. So I'm using the, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a, um, like a metal or something. I was like, well, you know what? First place for a horse jumping and all that nonsense. So why not? Where the hell was he? <laughs> Ah, well, it doesn't really matter because I'll, I'll take a look later. But anyways, so I've been a bit creative, I think, with... Well, I got them there. And managed to, with just two movement points, get the uh, supply points over to here, hop them off, but then they turn into real infantry again and just start eating up. Because, uh, you know, I remember you lose um, any... Um, fractions so it would even though I've only it took from five to get to here um, it's still um, yeah I got to round it up and so that's two three four can't stay uh, in the middle of a place uh, unentrained if I'm not gonna hit a oh so close but then here's the kicker and that's uh, yet again I'm starting it certainly obviously taking me a long time to figure out and that is this game, I have to stop again, slow down. Um, these combats or this push or 
you know, this whole whatever. It's not going to happen this turn. It's not going to happen next turn. This war or this type of whatever is a slow, things take time. Um, it's delayed gratification, I guess is the way to look at it. And uh, that's fine. I just have to remember that. Um, and it's not like other things where, you know, you make a move and, and it's going to happen. Um, no. Anyways, okay, that's it. Um, having a hell of a lot of fun, I can tell you that much.